Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this episode of Chad Williams Fixes All, we're going to be replacing the front caliper on this 2004 Saturn View. Let's get to it. So I've been working on this Saturn View quite a bit on my channel lately. So I have uh, videos on here of like replacing the engine and also replacing the front brake pads and rotors. And then also like doing random things like my headlights and like plastics around here. But uh, when I was doing the brake pads and rotors in a previous video, uh, if you uh, missed that, you can go ahead and check it out right here. But uh, when I was working on that, uh, I noticed on the front driver's side that it's, that brake pad and uh, caliper was in really, really bad condition. Like there was zero brake pad left on the uh, actual like brake pad. So I knew there was like an issue up there, but I wasn't quite sure if I was going to have to replace the caliper or not. But I ended up taking this thing for a test drive after getting everything all put back together and noticed that it was pulling to the left a little bit. And once I got it back, the uh, wheel was hot. You don't ever want to touch the rotor or anything like that or the uh, caliper. But the wheel was hot and I saw some smoke coming out of there. So it smelled like brake dust. I knew that the caliper was probably sticking. If it's not the caliper, it's the hose. If that's the case, we'll work on that when the time comes. But we're gonna start with the caliper and that's what we're gonna be working on today. So the caliper that we're gonna be working on is the front, uh, front left or driver side. Uh, the procedure is the same, whether it be working on the driver side or the passenger side, but we're gonna be working on the driver side today. So what we're gonna to need to do first is go ahead and jack up the vehicle, take the wheel off and uh, start taking off that old caliper and uh, start replacing everything that we need. This is a loaded caliper. I will go ahead and have a link in the description uh, so that way you guys can pick it up off of uh, Amazon, which is where I actually picked this one up off of. So uh, I'll leave that link down in the description where you can get that and uh, replace your own if you need to. So let's go ahead and jack the vehicle up, take that wheel off and get to it. Now with the wheel off, we can see that we have uh, the brake caliper here, brake caliper bracket. Uh, we have the new brake pads already in there and the rotor. Uh, we have, obviously you see the purple grease there with the brake shims. So everything's uh, pretty much brand new except for the brake caliper and brake caliper bracket, which is what we're gonna be replacing. It's pretty easy. You have just the two uh, bolts here, one on top, one on bottom right here that hold on the brake caliper. The brake caliper bracket's held on by two bolts in the back back there, one on top, one on the bottom. And then you have the uh, brake hose, which is held on by just one bolt, two copper washers to uh, seal it. And then uh, one thing I just noticed when I was taking this off, take a look at how hot this got in just that short trip. You can actually see the uh, discoloring from where the brake pad rides and where the uh, brake pad does not. And it got pretty hot, unfortunately. So. Hopefully this isn't warped or anything like that, but if it is, we'll just have to deal with it. I might try to rough up the uh, uh, rotors a little bit if they need to, but uh, hopefully the brake pads and rotors still okay. I only went about a mile down the road, so didn't go that far. But let's go ahead and start by taking off this brake caliper, the two bolts, and then we'll take off that bracket as well. And we'll just kind of uh, hang up, hang this up until we're ready to take loose this bolt here. So. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So the brake caliper is held on by two 14 millimeters, and then the brake caliper bracket is held on by two 15 millimeters, and the brake hose is held on by, for me, an 11 millimeter. Seems kind of strange, might be something different on mine, but this was 11 millimeter, that's what fit the best. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take all those loose. There we go, we went ahead and took off the brake caliper and brake caliper bracket. 
And then I also busted loose this uh, bolt here, like I said, that 11 millimeter, just so it's easier to break loose uh, when it's on the car versus off the car. But uh, you can see it's leaking a little bit already, which is fine. And then next what we need to do is start preparing the new brake caliper. So let's go ahead and open up the box on that new brake caliper. All right, so this is the brake caliper. Like I said, it's a loaded brake caliper. Way that you know it's a loaded brake caliper is by, it has the brake caliper bracket there. So that's how they determine whether if it's a loaded caliper versus a uh, unloaded caliper. But it comes with everything we need here. Um, everything looks like it has a little bit of grease or brake fluids uh, within it. But it comes with the two bolts, bleeder screw, use the existing uh or actually it supplies the banjo bolt here with you and some new shims so everything we need to uh put this one onto the car so we're going to go ahead and loosen up these two bolts and then uh put the new shims in here and then we'll go ahead and lube up the uh, uh brake pads put the old brake pads back into here old as in uh they're just been on the vehicle already but they're still brand new pads still really good so we're gonna put those brake pads within the uh, caliper and then we'll go ahead and put everything back on. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And there we go. We went ahead and uh, lubed up the brake shims after installing them and put the uh, brake pads onto here. So now we can go ahead and reinstall this brake caliper bracket back onto the vehicle with just those two bolts. All right, now with the new brake caliper bracket on there and the brake pads installed, greased up everything like they should be, we can go ahead and focus on the brake caliper. So we just have to loosen up that one bolt, make sure the two washers come off of the brake hose, and then reinstall the two washers, one on each side, with the banjo bolt supplied with the new kit onto the vehicle. So it's exactly the way it is there. Make sure you don't get that hose all twisted or anything like that, and make sure it's exactly the way it is when you took it off. All right, so I went ahead and installed this new brake caliper, put the hose on exactly the same way, and have the two copper washers on each side of the hose. So now we can go ahead and put this back onto the caliper bracket, tighten it up with the two 14 millimeter bolts. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tighten down this bolt, uh, this banjo bolt, because I didn't tighten it down all the way. I wanted to uh, be able to get some leverage and know exactly how much force I'm putting on it. Uh, I'm sure there's a torque setting for this. I don't know it off the top of my head. You can look it up if you want. But um, we're just going to go ahead and install the caliper back on the bracket, and then we'll tighten that up. Right, there we go. Now the next thing we need to do is go ahead and bleed the brake system. Now there's two ways that you can do it. You can do it with a vacuum pump, which is how I'm going to do it, by uh, breaking this bleeder valve loose and using a vacuum pump to suck the air out. Or you can go ahead and use the uh, traditional method of grabbing a buddy and uh, having them pump up the brakes, loosen the bleeder valve, uh, tighten it, re-pump up the brakes, loosen the uh, bleeder valve, and then tighten it then do it all over again, right? You always wanna make sure the reservoir is completely full uh, while you're working on this because you don't want it to go dry within the uh, engine bay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, vacuum kit out and we're gonna start working on this. So this is the uh, vacuum kit that I'm gonna be using. It's a very basic vacuum kit. I'll leave the description, I'll leave a link down in the description below on where you can find it. But it comes with all the fittings that you need to hook up to any type of uh, um, bleeder valve it comes with the reservoir so that way or a catch can that uh, will catch all your brake fluid 
and then obviously the uh, actual uh, pump. So, and lots of hose that you need to. So we're gonna go ahead and hook all this up and uh, get this thing bled out. But uh, for the brake fluid, you wanna use a dot three. Uh, I got this from Detroit Axle within the uh, brake video that I did on my channel. So I'm just gonna use this brake, uh, this dot three brake fluid. And that's actually the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that it is full enough. So let's go ahead and go up in the engine bay and make sure it's full. All right, so we're currently in the engine bay. So this is a manual. So this is my clutch reservoir, but this is my brake uh, reservoir. So I'm gonna pop that loose, take a peek in there. Looks like it's not terribly low or anything like that. We'll just gonna fill it up a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna put the top back on. Then the next thing I wanna do is actually break the bleeder valve loose to make sure that it's easily uh, loosened. So there we go. Now I can loosen it. I'm just gonna tighten it up just a little bit. And now within our kit, we put everything together. So we have the uh, vacuum pump hooked to a hose, hooked to the um, catch can, and then hooked to the uh, uh, this part where you connect the bleeder valve. So very simple. We're just gonna put this on here, pump it up, make sure it actually gains vacuum. Obviously it's leaking off a little bit because I can't hold it tight with my thumb, but uh, make sure it actually holds vacuum, loosen the bleeder valve, and then try to get all the air to come out of this system. So uh, they said, don't let it run down past five, keep it around 10 to 15 if you can. So let's go ahead and hook this up, see if we can do this. Well, this method doesn't seem to be working, so we might go ahead and hop inside the vehicle and have someone uh, push down the brake and do it the old-fashioned way and maybe finish it out this way. So let's go ahead and uh, get a buddy and we'll have uh, them push down the brake. All right, well, I just had my buddy uh, help me with this and it still is not getting any fluid out of here. I'm breaking the bleeder valve, the brake pedal is not depressing. I've had this happen before and what happened was actually the brake uh, hose collapsed in here this uh, rubber brake hose, and I bet you that's exactly what's happening here. It's collapsed on the inside and it's not allowing any pressure to go through. So what we're gonna do is, uh, in another video, we're gonna go ahead and replace this brake hose and uh, bleed the uh, system the correct way. Probably will work with the vacuum pump then, and uh, we'll, we'll get this all running. But regardless, this is how you replace the caliper. This video is still informative on the fact that you know how to replace your caliper, the brake caliper bracket, putting new brake pads on, and reconnecting up the hose. And it kind of shows you how to bleed the brakes. But um, this will work uh, once I replace this brake hose and get everything going. Uh, that kind of explains why I didn't get any brake fluid coming out of the brake hose too when I busted the bleeder valve loose. So uh, a lot of learn things learned here, but we'll go ahead and get this new brake hose ordered and we'll go ahead and install it as soon as it comes in. So, All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap for this episode. We got a lot of things done. Uh, we got that whole brake caliper, brake caliper bracket replaced and the uh, um, brake pads put on again. Uh, unfortunately, that brake hose is bad, but this is still a very informative video on how to replace the brake caliper. Um, if you want to check out my uh, future video for my brake hose, click uh, subscribe. You can actually uh, uh, see it in the future. Also check out my other videos that I have out on my channel and click like if this helped you. So, uh, but until next time, see ya.